once you have all the social media content added to the Hootsuite Excel spreadsheet here, there's a couple things you got to do to just kind of like make it work and randomize it and make it useful here for our purposes. So we're going to do two things. We're going to change the dates and whatnot on here so that they're reflective of the, the actual month that we're in. And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to randomize the tweets. So this is really simple here because really all we're trying to do is change the month to the new month. This is going to, so if we just go in here, this is a couple months behind actually, so we're moving to September. So we will copy and replace. So to get to this point here, we're going to type Control H. That's going to bring up the screen. We're going to put the old month's information in there, and then put the new month. And also, if the year were to change, so we have to make sure you do that too. Now, uh, when you hit replace all, that's going to make a couple changes that it really shouldn't have made, like here. You can see how this goes in order: nine five nine six nine nine because that was actually 9.7. So we need to go in through here and make that change. And then we're going to see, as we go down here, this is going to happen one more time, right down here. And depending upon the number that we need to change it to, it's going to affect more than one value, especially, say, as we're going to January and February. That's going to affect a lot of values. Boom. So we got that all knocked out. All those changes were made. All the dates are changed. Now, um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to randomize this list, especially because we went topically down, so the first 10 and 15 were a certain topic, the next 10 and 15 were another topic. So we want to randomize that so it's not quite as evident that there's a certain category of items and then another category of items. So you do that by going into another column, column B, and typing in this specific the specific term here equals rand and then open parenthesis, close parenthesis. And what that's going to do is that's going to give everything, that's going to assign a random number between 0 and 1 to that cell. And what you do next is you will highlight the cell, go down to the bottom right of the cell. You can see how that changes from one plus symbol looking thing to another plus symbol looking thing. Then you double mouse click. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom. So you can see every single tweet, every single update here has a certain random number assigned to it. Now all you need to do is sort that smallest, largest, largest, smallest, whatever. Either way, it's going to be randomized. And delete that column so that we just have these other columns here. So now you've got an updated. Hootsuite bulk uploader spreadsheet that has been randomized.